Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you're keeping safe out there. Hoping for the best this upcoming year because we all know we could use a break for on how rough 2020 has been. So this video is just a basic overview of the December patch notes as well as the brand new US weapons pack. Well, I could summarize all in all about this patch as the top five concerns were the consistent crashes when joining multiplayer sessions, overpowered weapons on bots that weren't supposed to have them, and those rascally ticks even though everyone can agree we should just get rid of them. The environment clippings and the fifth concern was, I could say, definitely beneficial and that's now you could terminate the constant heartbeat when you're sprinting and you don't have any stamina left. And then you got some honorable mentions like directional signs in bunkers, some minor weapons tweaking, automatic sorting of weapons by crown, six crown weapons being on top and one crown weapons being on the bottom, Eliminated the bug of objective markers still popping up on Colombian missions, and some other minor tweaks to better improve the environmental feel of the game. All in all, my thought on this patch, it's a definite improvement. Huge props to the devs. They are definitely the type of developers that take community feedback seriously and are always open to improving this game and really deserve my respect for what they do. I've only summarized maybe 75% of this patch. Anything else probably just wasn't worth much talk about since this probably wasn't truly noticeable in the gameplay to begin with. So with that, I do have some other concerns and that's rarity of the Reapers. They still take about an hour of grinding before another one even pops up after you're done beating them. Literally after 30 minutes of just recuperating, I'm literally ready for another. And I also found another bug. So if me and a friend go at it with the Reaper, we defeat it, we loot it, and he leaves and rejoins my session, he is able to reloot that reaper like nothing happened. Another one is fall damage. That fall damage is still broken. I drop two feet and lose like 25% of my health. Either it's a bit taller than expected, or just people from Sweden have bad knees. Other than that, that's really all I could do. Uh, what I would actually rate this patch all in all is four and a half stars in my book. So just like I mentioned, on top of the patch, we have also got some brand new weapons, US weapons pack. So for the crisp move of 299 at the Steam store, you can be surprised with a three crown N16, N60, and N9, all adaptions of famous weapons used by the US in the 80s. But my experience with them may be too soon to tell so far, I'm only using the ones given in the pack. And apparently there are some higher crown versions scattered across in different areas of the map and can be found when looting enemies. Just know all critiques are coming from the given weapons from the DLC. So let's start with the N9. Actually a fairly solid pistol, Just, I'm just not crazy about it. No attachments, it still handles fairly well, damage is subpar, but it just feels like a Clock 17 reskinned. The hip fire spread stays minimal and the sights I do actually like a lot better than the clocks. All in all, I, I probably rate it like four stars. So from the N9, you will then go to the N16. Overall, it looks solid. It's just really lacking in the performance department. When you look at the community page, it does state that it's a burst fire, easy to handle weapon. Well, while the burst fire mode is true, the handling is what really drops the score for me. The burst fire is decent. It handles pretty well on burst. But once you flip it to full auto, that spread opens up quite a bit. I only recommend full auto on close quarters with a hunter class. Other than that, stick to burst or single fire for any smaller target or any other target at like any further distance. So overall rating for the N16, I would probably rate at about like three and a half stars. And now we go to the N60. It claims to be a stable general purpose machine gun but the fire rate is no better than the AG4, and the recoil is about the same. With it shooting 7.62, it does pack a fair punch, but I would just stick to the 5 crown AG4 all in all, and I'm only going to probably rate that one only about like 3 stars well. Now again, I am emphasizing that these ratings were from the 3 crown weapons that you get when you buy the US weapons pack. A future video will come about when I get the better quality ones in the near future. So guys, this is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video and want to see more, click that subscribe button. Enjoy your guys' life and I will see you on the next video. Bye.